Right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, part two of uh, knife porn. Um, Ministry of Defence survival knife, or as I always knew it, you know, blade utility tool, stock number. Um, people call it a survival knife now. Um, I think I've, I've done a video, and I will, I will do a complete um, another video at some point uh, outlining, you know, uh, this knife. And I think it's much maligned. Some people love it, some people hate it. But then when you're going to compare this against like a, a Becker BK3 or 9 or whatever, um, it's just like trying to compare a, a transit van, which is a workhorse, to a, a Jaguar or something like that, two different kettles of fish. Um, in my question, you know, getting me, me bushcrafting kit up to scratch, uh, what I always wanted to do was this, was a very robust um, sheath for this. The sheath, I know, and I'll explain why in another video, because it's meant to go in a toolbox, not on your belt or, you know, in your bergen, isn't, isn't the best thing on these. So um, what I did, um, obviously I don't particularly like Facebook, but a lot of the bushcrafting guys um, communicate on uh, Facebook. So I've joined and, you know, Mac type what if anybody wants to add me. I wouldn't know why you want to anyway. Um, I uh, was quite impressed by uh, a, a, a guy, uh, Mark Jones. Um, and as far as I know, he hasn't got a, um, a YouTube channel. Don't know why, um, hopefully he may do in the, in the future. Um, but I've seen some of his work because what I wanted was a Kydex sheath for this beautiful knife and this is the MOD survival knife had one while in the army and I know this thing won't let me down that and Amora and I'm happy in any situation you wish to put me in anywhere in the world yeah this is an absolutely tank you know uh, it wasn't that long I needed to dig a hole so I used the knife because that's all I had on me at the time um, so on to the, the meat of the video um, Mark's done some really really good work and I've seen that and there's a lot of people speaking well of him I, I don't know Mark from Adam um, so I've contacted him and so forth and uh, we've had a discussion and uh, agreement was made to uh, make a, a, a Kydex sheath for me for this knife so ladies and gentlemen um, here is my new Kydex sheath uh, um, that Mark Jones has made me um, a price was agreed um, he will style it any way you want um, if you want you know the furniture uh, or the metalware done differently but um, so I'm, I'm, I'm talking directly to, to Mark now because I said I'd do a little review that you could perhaps link to and that mate but no problems doing that whatsoever um, more than happy with what you wanted the price for this mate for the work okay um, I'll just talk you through it and I'll probably come and try and come back all the, all, all the, the uh, f furniture fixing on this um, it's a beautiful piece of my first piece of Kydex work what I didn't expect Mark to do um, he said we talked about a loop and I you know I said like well I'll leave that up to you this is um, a British Army webbing belt yeah it's the nylon one so it doesn't absorb water um, with the, the actual screw fixings here he's done three he's not mucking about here um, he's cut off a piece of a belt and used that so when you look down here you can have like a, a normal belt that you'd have on your trousers if I, and I will do I'll unscrew that and put the holes in there so look I mean uh, this guy is certainly I'll move that up and that's a bigger make, make that belt loop a lot bigger uh, has certainly given me options um, again there's a paracord leg tie on there um, you see the three drain holes at the bottom they are in there under there I'll bring it up a bit closer so you can, so you can see there we go and hopefully the camera's going to focus in on that there is not a sharp edge or anything on this Kydex sheath and again all the proper iron works on it uh, the crocs of the matter does it fit and strangely just so you know you, you kind of working with somebody who knows what they're doing is an MOD is probably a standard size but he said no you, you have to send me the knife every single one is differently I can't do it there'll be something loose and my work you know my work won't be up to scratch like so I sent him the knife and again he he, he, he molded it exactly to my knife um, and to say that's not coming out is absolutely unbelievable There's nothing I can do throwing it around I can't really sort of grab it by the sides and, and, and show you but um, there is Two, two point of contact, one there and you push in another one where it locks and you can hear that there's another one and there's another pull so it goes in grips and pulls and again when you come out and pull so there's two points of really uh, contact on there and I'm more than happy with that normally I like to see um, 
a, a grip come around and off there absolutely no need whatsoever for it um, Mark I, I, obviously I've paid you for your work mate so I do want to mention there was no time frame agree, uh, time frame agreed on this and and in between Mark's had a, a couple of little problems which I don't won't go into and the only reason I'm going to mention this because he's a sort of guy he is um, quite impressive uh, every now and again I'd go on the Facebook thing and there'd be a little message from Mark sorry about this and I'm not going into anybody's sort of thing he bobs on that um, but um, and one of the last ones and he kept sending me pictures of you know progress on the knife I'm more than happy with that because if you just sent you know, uh, 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 some money to somebody and, and you know uh, your favourite knife to somebody Mark kept in contact all the while it, was, it, it, it did take a little bit longer than he originally kind of said or whatever um, and there was only a, an outline time frame anyway but um, Mark I was ever so impressed when um, I got a message from you I say it's nearly done but what I am going to do is um, send you your knife back and include the money that you sent me mate and you know, I've still got the message there and I thought what? no mate not at all um, as we discussed uh, real life interjects and so forth mate I, there was no time frame mate um, and I was just quite you know gobsmacked that he suddenly thought because it had been like maybe three or four weeks longer um, that you suddenly had to give me my money back like well I know why because you said why mate because you, you know you're going to sort of build up a bit of a you know um, a reputation and that and uh, certainly from my point of view mate this is one of my favourite knives of all time. Drop me in any situation with this and a Moira, and I'm happy, mate. So, Mark, I'm going to say I'm impressed with your Kydex sheath, mate. That is uh, that is the beast going inside a tank, mate. And uh, I say I'm more than happy with that for the money um, that we agreed on, mate. Um, like I say, a bit astounded that you wanted to give me the money back because it was taking a little bit longer for very good reasons, mate, which you kept me informed of, which is really, really nice of you anyway, mate. Hence, I said, you're having a laugh, mate. No, a deal's a deal. Um, so that's, um, you know, Mark. Um, to make sure of the, um, I'm more than happy. So, ladies and gents, I'll put his name there. You can drop it into if you, anybody's on Facebook or you want the Kydex shoes because I'm finding it, a lot of the, you know, um, like Scott, it's got like, so many people have got so much work on that can do work like this. So I've gone away and found one. Um, I can only say I'm superbly happy. Would I recommend him? Hell yes. Um, you know, every day of the week and... Uh, twice on a Sunday uh, I think that sheath is exactly what I want it actually it's more than what I wanted because I never envisaged this I envisaged a bit of seat belt material not a full on military belt I mean this will last well so it's a beast inside a tank mate so uh, Mark Jones one I'm totally happy with your work mate and uh, I have got a, um, a couple of other knives in no I shouldn't have but um, the one Keith made me and I think that you know um, certainly be after Christmas mate I'll be going down the car next week with that one and uh, I, I'm certainly going to be a, a repeat customer and I don't think you can say uh, better than that when you're talking about somebody's work. So, there we are ladies and gentlemen, that's the, the first stage of my uh, field knife. Um, what I will be doing, and it will be on another video, um, is through the back there, loosening them screws, it's going to attach around there, through there, I'm going to have a pouch on the front of that where I can have a fire steel, a silver blanket, um, some sort of tinders and that type of stuff. A mini type of... Um, I hate the word survival, but a little survival thing, because I, I always want to see um, a pouch on the front of these knives with some bare essentials in it, much like um, some of the pouches I carry on my belt. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'll leave it there. A cracking Kydex sheet for, uh, and you know, I'm not going to talk about money, because that's for you to do, you know talk about Mark with. Um, but to say, do I think I'm impressed with what I got for the for the money? Um, all cool, blimey, yes. Um, could I improve upon that? Is there anything? And I always give a, you know, he's asked me to give a, a really honest review as well. Just say what you think. Um, I can't find anything derogatory whatsoever to say about that, mate. And when um, I said I'd leave the belt attachment up to yourself, um, you've exceeded my expectations, Mark, um, by, uh, you know, um, you know, a cricketer's mile there, mate. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, knife point, knife, knife pawn, um, take two. And, uh, you know, if you want a Kydex sheath, make, sheath making, um, Mark Jones is on Facebook. I think um, certainly uh, an up-and-coming um, tradesman there. And uh, I'll certainly be a repeat customer. On this, I'm going to get off because um, uh, Martin's... Uh, what did you bring over, Martin? Hey? What did you bring over? Oh, crocodile. Sticks, uh, crocodile burgers, sorry. Yeah, he's got two crocodile burgers and he's, he's cooking them up over there. And he's, he <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, so we're going to have some scoff now. Um, 
there is one lad um, really really um, they're not part of that so thanks for that Mark I really appreciate that um, I know don't need the sheaf I had I had that in and uh, very new lad Dale Skidmore um, he's only got the one video up there and uh, like everybody else he's uh, as he says he's bushcrafting on a budget uh, Dale this is just for you I know you watch your videos mate because he had a few chats and that mate um, I, I've now got this sorted mate what I have got and what goes around comes around in my ideas mate what this used to be in nothing wrong with this sheaf whatsoever um, just I always had in mind for a Kydex sheaf mate is my sheaf that I used to keep it in mate I'll, I'll bring it up close um, again this that's not going anywhere mate um, I've now got a sheaf because I know you, you talked about um, an MOD survival knife that you've bought one I'm quite impressed with it mate especially as they're not a great deal of money for what, what you actually get so uh, Dale this is a, uh, a sheaf mate I'll leave the patch on the front there uh, you know, so you can put a few bits in there if you want mate and what I'll also uh, just give us a PM this is the easiest way to do it because I'm quite happy to um, send you that if you want it mate for your knife it's certainly an upgrade on the leather sheath it comes from but if you measure a belt for me mate like from buckle all the way around to the end of it what I'll do is I'll make you one of these things mate which is a belt that'll be specially for it um, and it'll go around your waist and what I do rather than having all the duck buckles that dig in your gonads I um, will put some Velcro on it for you there mate which will make it really really secure so uh, Dale Skidmore and um, ladies and gents um, please go and have a look at his channel he's just put a couple of videos up and uh, you know I, I, he's just a fantastic geezer and he's uh, when he's talking and that I don't think he knows how funny he is if that makes sense but Dale anyway that's to you mate um, if you want that mate you can make use of that I'll make you obviously a belt I bought some more material and you want that sheath mate I no longer need it and I'm you know I'm, Hopefully I'll be the first one on YouTube just to send you out a little bit something, mate. Because as I say, uh, don't do all these like sub things. But if you want that, mate, uh, for your MOD survival knife, I'll make you that little belt. Um, obviously you know what to do, so I know what your waist size is, mate. Just give us a PM and that's yours and that'll be a job done, mate. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, I think I've covered everything. Mark, I'll, I'll put a link so you can see this on Facebook. Pfft, very, very happy, mate. Happy customer. And if you're starting out in the... Uh, yeah, and you know, I know you've been doing them for a while, but uh, if there was anything wrong with this, or people know I'm quite genuine, or I wasn't happy about something, or I could suggest something to do, as you asked me to do in the video, mate, I can't. I'm just um, a happy little teddy bear. So, ladies and gents, uh, thank you very much for watching my video, and uh, take care, because uh, that food's smelling nice over there. <laughs> take care.